guys this is astronox this is my third account and uh, let's craft some necklaces i need a good one for destina so hp percentage main stat hopefully i can get that with an hp set that'd be of course really powerful but uh yeah the substats that's that's another story so let's see if uh yeah first it's hp percentage main stat plus good substats and then if i can get the right set then that's icing on the cake i would say let's uh yeah i'm gonna make 50 so let's begin the odds they're not so great last last crafting session was uh like someone said in the comment section it was flat city so hopefully this one uh, is uh, is better let's see i can definitely use other type of necklaces as well Offense necklace, I'm good in that department. Actually, I can use an attack set with a crit damage uh, main stat with good substats. That is, all well, the substats, they are usable, but uh, wrong set, crit chance. Hmm. So yeah, attack set, crit damage, maybe crit chance. If I can get some good substats, that'd be really good. Flat city. Okay, well, it's HP on defense set. It's not so bad. And there's defense and effect resistance in the substats. Only 4% rolls. Still not so bad. But can I get a godly necklace? That is the question. I mean, it needs to be heroic at least. Ancient coins, they are hard to come by, so... Might as well make sure you're enhancing something that it that is worth it. Not sure... Next crafting session on this account might be in a while. I'm running out of sky stones and uh, hopefully I get lucky here. No man, what is going on? Nope. It's not bad, it's not bad, but I don't need offense. Uh, it, needs, it needs to be really good. That was quite good, though. That was quite good for a rare. Like on uh, on Ken, that'd be good. It's just that I have one that is quite, quite powerful already. Hmm. Nope. Someone also said in the comment section that for jewelry it's better to craft a wyvern set. I can understand that because if you get speed set and you got a speed substat that's really exciting, you can get some pretty crazy speed. And uh, I mean, two piece sets, probably besides speed. Speed with speed substat that that's really strong by itself. But if you're mostly farming golem or whatever hunts, at least like you can use hit, you can use crit chance sets. But really when you when you get that speed set with a speed substat, that, that that's really fun to enhance. Especially if you've got some other really good substats. That is unfortunate, man. Like I, I can only use the effectiveness on that thing. That's unfortunate. Oh, nope. Two flat substats. But I mean, maybe I roll it and it, it rolls into attack and crit chance. I mean, I could give it a few tries later on. So far, it's not, uh, it's not what I'm looking for. I need... Oh! Oh no. 
We got two offense stats and got a flat. Only the effect resistance is uh, usable. And then you've got... And also the prime is matching the main stat with the set. It's, it's really hard. It's really hard. And of course, having the right substats that's going to match a support hero again with the offense neck with uh, two flat substats. Maybe it rolls into speed there, but there's so much so much value that is lost because you know, there could have been two other substats and let's say it's uh oh baby that is good okay now that's what's up that one percent from max crit chance effectiveness is two off attack one off defense four percent off but still all these substats are usable it's an attack set with a crit damage main stat oh man that's perfect i can use that i can that's what i'm looking for i've been looking for that thing for uh guider ether I just six tarred him and he was actually he's using like a heroic necklace but it's not so good what you what you're looking for on these types of necklaces for offense like in this particular one it's attack set with a crit damage uh, main stat now that's huge right then it's epic that's another massive thing especially because we can use all these stats now we've got crit chance and attack percentage in the sub stats that's huge then you've got effectiveness if that uh, that hero can actually needs to rely on landing debuffs. Let's say so. My guider Ether, he can land a speed down debuff. So there you go. Effectiveness is used there and defense. I mean, it's always good to have some survival on your heroes because you don't do any damage if you're dead. All right. So really good. This session, this necklace was worth it. Like this whole session is now it's it's all win from there. Let's let's not think about the last session though. Let, let, let's say let's say it didn't exist, right? It didn't happen. So for this particular session, it's it's worth it just because of that. What a piece though. I'm gonna have to enhance it. I don't know how many I can actually do. The problem is, of course, I can I can uh, feed all these uh, flat substats into that. That's not that bad, but um, yeah, early game. That'd be a really beast, but it's crit chance. That's the thing. You, you need that more in the early game. But you can use that <clears throat> later on. It, the prime is... Well, you need some items with mostly crit damage and no crit chance. Because you're going to get 55% crit chance out of this thing. And then there's a lot of heroes that have like a base of 21% crit chance after awakening. So, I mean, you've got, uh, you've got 70... 76% crit chance already covered there. And then if, if you're fighting at elemental advantage, you're already getting 15% crit bonus. I mean, you're you're at 91% crit chance already. And that's not including the other five pieces of gear that you're going to be wearing. So it's really hard to actually get a set that's going to work with this hero with all the stats that are balanced and mostly with crit damage and no crit chance. It's, it's really hard to gear for. I prefer a crit damage necklace. So yeah, just my quick thoughts about it. Hopefully it uh, helps you guys to not maybe use crit chance necklaces because maybe later, I mean, yeah, maybe you also, let's say you, you find some really solid pieces. You're wearing that crit chance necklace and then you start finding some really, really good pieces that have crit chance and your rolls, they keep landing in that crit chance, then it's really unfortunate at that point. Mm, no. Flat. Flat substats. Can I luck out with the, the last crafts and get what I want for, uh, for Destina? I guess she's going to wear whatever she's wearing now. But still, that attack necklace though. So good. We have to enhance it, boys. And see where it goes. I mean, this is not so bad. It's just, it's crit chance. And defense set. 
Also, you might not need effectiveness on all damage dealers. That's another issue. But let's see. I, I was... Cr oh. Oh, crit chance, attack, and crit damage, man. That is so good. That crit damage is maxed. This attack is 1% off from max, and effect resistance is maxed out. Effect resistance, you don't need it so much on damage dealers. It's most, mostly on a cleanser that's going to have high effect resistance that is going to take out the debuffs of the rest of your team. But still... It's not a flat stat, so uh, besides speed, of course, so there's that. Now we've got attack set with an offensive uh, main stat. That's that's a really good necklace. That's a really good necklace. Let's say I end up with, um, you know, a lot of gear that has mostly crit damage. There you go. There you go. That That's an amazing piece. Hopefully it rolls into those offensive substats mostly, but man, that, that was a good session. No lie, man. That that was good. That was good. And the last one here. All right. Actually, okay. Let, let's do let's do one here. Okay. And Banshee. Uh, what do I need from Banshee, really? Oh, I know. What you need for Banshee is, most of the time, you want Lifesteal because you're getting it from the Abyss, right? Now, the Necklace is Attack Percentage. That That's a big no-no in most cases. But also, the Boots are Attack Percentage. And if you want to do as much damage as possible in, in PvE, and if you want to go first or uh, have your Combat Readiness Booster boost your DPS, if you have one Combat Readiness Booster in PvP and you want to have your Damage Dealer follow, at 100% uh, CR, you need speed boots there too. So I would say that for necklaces, yeah, I can craft those. I'm, I have uh, crit chance set, uh, crit damage necklaces or crit chance, whatever. So I'm gonna go with boots, it's, it's really hard. There's four sets here, whatever. I'm just gonna craft a pair, you never know. Oh! No, but the thing is, there's also like life steal would be really beast on Ken. Now Ken can actually use the life steal set, and a pair of boots is uh, like with a HP percentage main stat on a life steal set. That's hard to obtain for him, but he could use the uh, the abyss set with those boots. Unfortunately, those sub stats are kind of trash. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. So let's. Uh, yeah, okay, that's it for the crafting. That was, what was it, 53 crafts? But yeah, it was just like, let's say 50. Okay. Now, to lock the good stuff, that was definitely OP. Now, this one was really OP too. And that's the one I want to enhance. Just to make sure, there was... Another one, right? Maybe not. It's okay. I'll just start enhancing this one. I want to see what it is. I know you guys want to see as well what it's going to be. At least I don't have to worry, worry about the speed set and looking for a speed substat. Okay. That was... Wait, what was it? Four? If it was 4% crit chance, that was a maximum roll of 5% there. Still, it was 4 or 5 depending on what was the initial roll. That's really good, man. That, that's really good. Because if we can stay into the crit chance and attack percentage with average to high rolls, that's super, super strong. Okay, beautiful start. I don't know how high I can actually bring it. I don't think it's going to be that high. Maybe 9 Okay. Nine, six, seven, four. Okay, seven defense, man. That's really good. Need defense, man. You need survival. You can't have like no survival on your damage dealer. There's always mechanics where you're gonna take AoE damage. And I'm not using a combat readiness booster in PvP. That means like I have to take it, man. I have to take turn one unless I just outspeed them straight off. Mostly happens in Guild Wars. But whatever, you need some survival and a 7 defense roll, that was really good. 
And that's the thing though, when you enhance pieces like this, there's no loss. What, wherever it lands, you can use that stat. So that's what I mean by efficient usage of your ancient coins or just purely sacrificing some necklaces. Okay, we gotta sacrifice a bunch here. There was quite a few flat necklaces, but because of that one, man, Okay, we're really close now. 70 necklace, I just dumped those. Okay. 9, 6, 7, 11. Okay, 3 crit chance. That's good, that's good, baby. Alright, because it's a crit damage necklace, so... Yeah, if you can get some crit chance on that necklace, it's definitely going to be helpful, because... Especially early game, mid game... Yeah, you, you can start to have some, some decent gear where you can get your crit chance to 85% plus. Well, I believe I might, with my gear right now on Guider Ether, I believe I might reach 100% crit chance. So these are past necklaces, but I guess we can check rares. This one. I don't know if I can bring that up to 12. That's really high. That's a lot of experience. Let me check my ancient coin situation. What do you think? Oh, I do have. I do have ancient coins. Okay, good. That's an easy enhance on that necklace. That's for damn sure. Yo, let's go all in, boys. Let's go all in. All right. The, like the way these they're stacking now I don't think it takes uh, inventory space actually it's it's in another category now so it's really cool that they did that it, it's been requested a lot I've seen it in, on reddit a bunch okay 12 6 7 11 okay boys Oh, six defense, nice. Okay, that's an average roll. It's still good. Of course, attack and crit chance would have been more exciting. And uh, it's fine. It's fine. Guider Ether, he doesn't have the greatest defense. And I mean, I need him to stay alive. I need him to stay alive. I, I'm not going to make it to plus uh, 15. So that's going to be it. Unless there's some necklace I can some necklace with high experience that that I can just sacrifice but I highly doubt it highly doubt it so it's not gonna happen boys but yeah let's uh, let's just go and see what he's got in terms of stats I need to get more copies of uh, ether so I can get this thing to triple S man that's gonna be super helpful for the team now, uh, yeah, he, he's six star. I need to bring him to level 60. And the necklace that I was using was this. Ooh, yeah. Let's change that up. So the stats before. Look at that, man. Look at that. I'm actually, I'm going to be a, like 100% crit chance and above 100% crit chance because of that neck. But these boots, these boots, I will eventually have to replace them. Uh, there's a lot of crit chance on them. I can uh, I can put some some better boots there. But uh, yeah, OP man. Oh my god! Look at that. That's some pretty solid stats. Needs a well. I, I need to bring him to 60. He's gonna uh, have better survival, of course. Effectiveness. It's no big deal. I mean, he can land the uh, speed down. Sorry, but. Uh, it's not the biggest, uh, it's not the best debuff. It reduces the target speed by 30%. It's not huge like attack or defense break. Still, it's definitely helpful, especially on a two turn. Um, yeah, I mean, I just got this to plus 15 last night and uh, I, I got crit damage on the last roll. Good for survival. I mean, total amount of stats really solid. Item level 71. That was from the um, God Killer chapter uh, episode two, chapter uh, two from the um, the exchange. You have to like uh, 
build up AP and it costed like 400 AP. It was like chapter 2 or maybe actually 1 was probably a Breath of Orbis. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, overall that's his gear. Just so you guys see it. Yeah, it's still some crit damage to obtain. It's gonna cap out at... Uh, what, what is it? It's 60%? Yeah, so maybe 13% more crit damage. Yeah, that, that's close to 250% crit damage. That's really good. And with that Daydream Joker, he's going to be able to deal more damage, which, which means he's going to be able to heal the team for more. And that continuous healing, that, that's actually really beast. Barrier on himself to up his survival. Multiplier on that thing is really strong, man. He, he can do some crazy one-shots with that thing. I need to, uh, to do some skill enhancement. And man, that 20% healing increase on that second skill up. And man, 10% damage increase on the first skill enhance. That is huge. I need, I need to actually get that to plus 3 ASAP if I'm going to be uh, using him in a, where, in, a, in a bunch of places. And continuous healing is 15% of your ally's uh, HP every turn. That, that's really good. I, it's a solid hero. And he's of the light element, so he's elemental neutral. So really, really solid. And the awakening here is, I'm, I'm close to that, more attack. Perfect, perfect. All right, well, that's it, boys. That was a very productive crafting session. Uh, I needed that, man, I needed that. I feel like the crafting session that I've been doing on this uh, third account on Europe were not so good in terms of like uh, what I got from jewelry. Uh, on my global account, I got blessed, man, with a crazy necklace. And it's on Violet now, and he's he's using he's putting that to good use. Anyways, uh, thanks a, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts: Arena, Guild Wars, Guides, Tips, and How Tos, and Abyss Floor 62 Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And uh, good luck with all your crafting and well, whatever you do in the game, man. Your drops, your summons, and all that good stuff. Good luck with all of it. All right, peace out for now.